Ellen Anna here, makeup creator, teacher, and educator specifically for people with hooded eyes. I also post a lot of tips and tricks and tutorials for people with oily and textured skin, which is exactly what I have. And today we're talking about that. All right, so summer is basically here, okay? And us oily skin girlies are struggling. So today I'm gonna show you my step-by-step -step sweat proof summer proof, waterproof, everything proof <laughs> base routine for my oily and textured skin. We're obviously going to start with cleansing the skin. I have done my brows and my eye makeup and now there's already some oils coming through. So that is always going to be step one, clean your skin completely. Make sure that we have a good canvas to play with. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this product. I've definitely used it on my channel before. This is the Colin Rothschild Gentle and Clear Clarifying Solution. I do love this. It's here right next to my vanity i use it all the time before i do my makeup just to kind of make sure that there's no more oils or anything after like i've done my skincare in the morning and then when i film in the afternoon i need to just like make sure that my skin is completely clean and i do have some under eye cream so i'm not going to go over there with this but definitely my forehead and the area around my nose and just basically the t-zone where everything gets oily super, super fast. But this is just a nice one. I have a handful of different toners right here and I just reach for this one because it feels really, really nice on my skin and really, really clarifying and refreshing. All right, let's start with skin prep. This is going to be the most important thing that you're going to be doing with your life all summer long. <laughs> just kidding, but I promise you the more you invest, and I don't necessarily mean money, the more time you invest into your skin prep, the better and the more long wear your makeup is going to be. That is something I had to learn the hard way because when I was in my 20s, I used to just slap the foundation on, not apply a primer, not apply a moisturizer, nothing at all. And then obviously my foundation will look like crap an hour after I left my house. So that is a no-no. We're not going to be doing that. We're going to apply a moisturizer. Oily skin is actually that oily because it needs more moisture. So never ever skip this step. The more moisture it needs, the more oil it kind of creates. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how it works. <laughs> so I'm going to be using one of my favorite K-Beauty Fines, I want to say. I bought it off of Amazon. This is Beauty of Joseon Red Bean Water Gel. The thing about this gel is that it basically stops your oils from kind of coming through. I don't know how it works, but that's what they claim, and that actually works. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a gel-like texture. And I think I found it just before Christmas last year, and I've just been loving using it. It's one of my favorite moisturizers, especially like on a warm day or when you are in a warmer atmosphere. So I'm just going to apply it kind of all over the face and rub it in, make sure to not overdo it. This is very much water-like. It doesn't feel like anything on your skin, but it's really nice and moisturizing. And again, it's just very, very good for oily skin specifically. So this is a really, really nice product. I'm going to link everything down below. And I just have a lot of fun products on my Amazon, honestly, not necessarily only like this or skincare. And I always link my Amazon down below. So check that out if you want to see what other products I like that are maybe not so expensive. They're not from Sephora. I love me a good affordable find. That's like, I live for it. So yeah, this is one of those. An important tip here, if you don't want your makeup to look like a mess and start layering, not layering, but separating you know how it does sometimes i hate when that happens so to stop that from happening you have to wait for about two minutes in between each step of the skin prep so now that i've applied moisturizer i am waiting for a couple of minutes for my skin to kind of work that in before going in with my primers and then i'm going to wait for two more minutes before going in with foundation that just kind of makes sure that all of the products are inside my skin and not just sitting on top and mixing together and creating this mess. So that has helped me a lot in that capacity. So I'm gonna go in with my primers right now. I feel like everything is kind of nice and dry here already. So the primers that I'm gonna use, and I always use two primers if you're not new here or if you follow me on other socials, you know that I always use a glowy primer. And this is something that I've tried recently and I haven't really been using it that much, but I just wanted to reach for something that I not necessarily use all the time. On a daily, I use the Natasha Denona Hygiene Serum. And also I'm trying to save it because that's like super expensive. I don't want to buy a new bottle. I have like this much left. So <laughs> I'm kind of trying to stay away from that one a little bit. But what I love is this Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir. 
just look at how gorgeous this is and this is glowy and this is nice and hydrating but i'm going to be super strategic and careful with this application i'm just going to use a little bit of this and oh, it's just amazing and i'm going to apply it on the outer parts of my face i need to try more flower beauty products because i forgot to put spf on i always do all right all right, hold on. So one thing about me is I do not put SPF on if I know that I'm not kind of leaving the house or like today it's super, super gloomy. It's storming outside. So I haven't really been thinking about putting SPF on because I know that I'm kind of like not leaving the house today. I just have a lot of work to do at my house, which is honestly, most of my days are like that. It's not sad. I love being at home and working, so. <laughs> and so often I forget about this step or to mention this step. So I will mention it. I always apply SPF after I do my moisturizer before I do my primers. So this is what I would have applied and I put it out here to like show you guys and to apply it, but I forgot again. So this is the It Cosmetics Hello Sunshine Hydrating Serum Sunscreen 50 SPF. It is very, very, very nice. No white cast, no anything, not greasy, just a really solid good SPF. And I did film a short form video on my favorite, like I believe I, I mentioned five or six different SPF products that I love for my oily skin. I'm not sure if that is up yet or soon will be, but I will make sure it is as a short form video. But yeah, this is what I like imagine. Let's just pretend it's going to be between you and me that I have put that on after my moisturizer and before I apply that glowy primer. Okay, we're going to do that. But trust me, I do wear SPF on a daily unless I'm not leaving the house like today. I am always, always, always putting this on in the morning when I'm going on a run or just anytime under makeup. I just want to mention this because I need to help you guys. If you ever see a foundation and that doesn't have a Oh, it does, it does, it does. Oh, great example. If you ever see a foundation that has SPF, so it says SPF 20 right here, imagine all of the ingredients in this foundation and how much SPF is actually there. The percentage of the SPF in the foundation compared to this, it's going to be like 0.00001%. So whenever you apply a product, a makeup product with SPF, it means nothing it gives you zero protection do not ever fall for that trick always 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 use a real <laughs> spf product underneath your makeup there i hope that you know this i hope i'm not the first person telling you that but if i am you're welcome <laughs> All right, let's continue priming my face. So obviously I always use a blurring or mattifying or pore diffusing. Honestly, all of that combined in one primer, that's kind of my goal. <laughs> and this is one of the classics. I love this. This is the Benefit Professional Primer. And I use this through the center of my face, kind of where you see the most texture and oils coming through. So basically this, the places that I have not applied the glowy primer on, so all of the rest of the face. Also, don't forget like the nose area right here. And I'm going to go in my forehead as well, just to make sure to rub it in. All of these spots are secured, mattified, and the foundation is going to lay beautifully and blend beautifully on top of this. And now we're going to wait for a couple minutes before going in with our complexion products. All right, so you already know <laughs> the foundation we're going to use today because I just showed it to you, but it's one of my favorite, favorite foundations that I've tried this year. This is by Bare Minerals Bare Pro 24 Wear Foundation Skin Perfecting Matte Liquid Foundation. Do not hear people talk about this enough. I am confused. I am confusion. I don't know why. This is phenomenal. This is spectacular. I also believe I did film a video. I don't believe I know that I filmed a video where I was talking about the best five best foundation that I tried in 2024. And I don't know if that's up or yet, but you know, check that out if that's up. If not, then it will be. This is one of those amazing, spectacular, wonderful, beautiful matte finish, lightweight formula, super, super nicely looks and sits on the skin. Cannot recommend this enough. Great, great product. I don't really use any other Bare Minerals product. Like it's not a brand that's kind of on my radar. They did like send this to me as one of the products in like a box of products, I believe the other brands, if I am not mistaken. And I just fell in love with this. So I'm gonna do something that I never do because I'm lazy, but I wanna do it now because we're here. So why not? I'm gonna use a little makeup palette put the foundation right here on the palette then i am going to use kind of like a flat brush 
and apply the foundation on the skin and then I'm going to start and blend it out with a sponge. By the way, I am in the shade Fair 12 Cool. This is a good shade match for me. I always, always, always keep lighter and deeper, kind of like my summer shades and my winter shades, if you will. I always, always keep both of those in my collection. And it helps because when brands send several shades, I can use several shades within one year on my face. So as you can see, I kind of used maybe two pumps, but a lot of it has gone into the brush. So like kind of when you use this method, it's a little bit wasteful, but I used, so let's say one and a half palms on my entire face. And you can see how gorgeous, beautiful, already matte and just flawless this looks. I adore this foundation. I never have any issues with it. You know, sometimes foundations are too oily or they're peeling or there's some other stuff going on that is not pleasant. Never ever with this guy and that is why I like it so much. A little bit down my neck. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I haven't used this one in a hot minute and now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, yes, this is gorgeous. I remember why I love it so much. All right, let's go in with a concealer. I have a classic here, Makeup by Mario in the shade 160. This is also a brightening shade. So my regular shades are like 180 and 200, but I do like me a bright under eye. So I'm just going to apply a little bit through here, a little bit in the areas that need a little bit more coverage or color correction. So basically like not too much, but you know, you know, a decent amount. And because the foundation is so full coverage, but lightweight, I can afford to like apply a little bit more concealer than like on a regular day. It's not necessarily what I'm doing right now. I would say this is the regular amount, but just so you know. And I'm just blending everything out with that same sponge that I've been using for all of my cream products today. I do wanna use a brush for the next product, for the bronzer. And obviously I did use the brush to apply the foundation, but blending everything, nothing does it better than a beauty blender. No other tool. This is just looking beautiful. This is what skin prep does. I am like pretty sure that I'm using this for the first time in a long form YouTube video, but I do have a short form video of my initial review of this product compared to the Say bronzer. This is the Makeup by Mario Bronzing and Sculpting Serum. I'm in the shade light medium, which is kind of a warm shade and I'm not necessarily like a biggest fan of that. But at the same time, this is a great product and it looks beautiful and it would look even more beautiful when I'm a little bit more tan. And I can still make this work, you know what I mean? I just prefer like anything cooler, like anything cooler toned, I'm there, but this is still amazing. And I love that this product has both a doe foot applicator and a little pump that is just like revolutionally. I know they're not the first people who created this. I was actually under the impression that they were the first one to create this, but actually it was Pure. I'm not sure how to say the name of that brand. They did it first years and years ago, apparently. So there's that, but it doesn't take away from the genius <laughs> of this packaging. Anyways, I'm gonna do something that I've never done. I typically use a doe foot applicator, but like I said, I want to use a brush here. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this on my palette right next to the foundation. That's actually not a little bit, that is a ton, but I'm going to try and work it into my brush. This is my favorite kind of like a cream bronzer brush. This is by BK Beauty. They're 106. And I'm going to start placing it on my bone right through here. And this is a very, very easy to blend, forgiving product. Really can't go wrong with it. And I'm just kind of going to warm up my face with this. Not necessarily like creating anything crazy, just a little bit of color and like that sun-kissed look. I did put so much product here. You definitely don't need more than one palm. I put two for no reason at all. But as you can see, it's blending up beautifully. It has a little bit of a glow, but we're going to get rid of that because we don't need this glow here. Well, we are going to need some glow, but not that much so we're going to obviously powder the face but this is a really really beautiful product i'm really into these liquid bronzers and i love that the brands are coming out with the, these because they're so much better than the stupid 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 wands by charlotte tilbury i i love charlotte tilbury she's the best but that little like what do you call it little like sponge on the top of it and this is also my favorite highlighter but i hate 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 this packaging so gross so disgusting yeah there i said it <laughs> hate that packaging so them coming out coming out with a liquid bronzer contour what have you in a way more convenient packaging is just 
really really nice and i'm grateful so as you can see i've done just like a little bit of this product and it looks like i have been out in the sun it's just gorgeous i'm gonna make sure that everything is blended beautifully and we don't have any creasing before we go in with our cream blush for cream blush there's so many on the market and a lot of them are really really good i just wanted to use something that i like the shade of so i'm using the basma beauty cream blush this is in the shade mob this is my favorite everyday type of shade i absolutely adore it and i'm going to pick up just a little bit of this on a brush and place it kind of like above where i placed the bronzer to just bring some color back to my cheeks and this is also beautiful beautiful easy to blend beginner friendly formula that is not disrupting any of the layers underneath and also super lightweight like i'm applying what layer five on my skin and it doesn't feel like i'm wearing any makeup and obviously when we powder it is not even gonna look like much whereas now obviously it looks like i'm wearing makeup because we still have all of that shine and glow but when we powder it will be gone <laughs> okay let's get into powder if you have oily skin or textured skin and you always have troubles with powders i'm gonna show you my routine and my technique i take pride in my powder routine that is the only way that powder works on me and makes my face not look cakey or greasy or any of those things and that is the technique that i use every single day and i literally cannot do anything different it has to be this way so if you have trouble with powdering your oily face try my routine it might work for you so i always start with applying all of my cream products and now they're on my face we're ready to powder then i'm gonna go in with a pat mcgrath under eye pressed powder whether it's translucent which is kind of the white one or the light pink shade i have two shades and those are the ones i use so i'm gonna take this powder and my little makeup puff i actually used to apply this powder using a brush but now i started to do this and i kind of like this and i'm going to press it right into my under eye area and set this area only and you can see how matte and blurred it looks instantly and i'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye and i'm not picking up much product and this is so finely milled that it's you cannot overdo it with this product kind of going around my nose with the whatever is left on my puff and then i'm going to set this powder away we're done with this now we're going to be using a loose powder for the entire face i cannot for the life of me use a pressed powder for my face it doesn't sink into my skin if that makes sense it sits on top of my skin and i do not like that feeling unless it's a powder foundation if i use powder foundation as a powder kind of like the natasha denona one or makeup forever one that works beautifully but i still prefer loose very finely milled powders for the rest of my face my favorites top favorites are off the top of my head Givenchy, huda beauty maybelline laura mercier of course and one size today we're using huda beauty just because we're already in a pink theme we had our little pink under eye powder and now we're gonna get this pink loose powder this is the huda beauty cherry blossom cake easy bake powder the one with the fragrance because i honestly don't mind it i i don't know i never actually cared about it I think it's nice <laughs> but i understand that some people are more sens sensitive than others especially to scents uh, this is a ton you don't need this much i don't know why this happened just now but i'm gonna try and pick a little bit less like kind of maybe work it into back of my hand here and then i'm gonna take it on my beauty blender i'm not gonna use a puff for this but you can there isn't really much difference and then i'm going to start pressing that into my skin and you can see how much it helps with the shine and the blur and you can see how beautifully it works into the skin while still leaving a tiny bit of glow through here because we applied that super glowy primer and that's how it works and then here it depends on you if you need this makeup to stay on for 18 hours of a wedding then you can even do some baking there is nothing wrong with that that could help longevity and baking is pretty nice works pretty nice on oily skin what i would do is mostly like just carve kind of like my contour right through here but i don't really do that often i never bake under my eyes my skin is too sensitive and thin there and i have some fine lines and i feel like if i bake under my eyes it's just gonna feel so dry i just don't want to do that but overall this is my powder routine as you can see the face is looking matte but natural blurred beautiful this is like exactly what i wanted and this is going to ensure that our makeup stays on 
all day long. Obviously, we still need to re-intensify everything with powder products and use setting spray, so we're not even near to be done yet. <laughs> but we're on the way now, and this just looks so so pretty so like i said we're going to re-intensify all of the cream products with powder products and i'm just gonna speed through this this there is nothing crazy about these steps i'm gonna use the pat mcgrath bronzer this is just my favorite and i am going to basically apply it on the same spots where i applied that makeup by mario liquid bronzer to just kind of bring it a little bit back to the front because we just powdered the face and obviously that took away some of the color which there's nothing wrong with that and a little bit through here like literally just a tiny amount and now we are back to looking sun-kissed and beautiful and for powder blush i always 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 use powder blush on top of cream blush because blush is the first thing to disappear from your face throughout the day i love me a lot of blush <laughs> and i'm gonna use the laura mercier blush in the shade strawberry this is such a gorgeous gorgeous shade absolutely adore this product as well and this one is completely matte so i'm just going to re-intensify my cream blush and reapply this on top of where i put the cream blush as you can see this is a beautiful kind of pinky shade a little bit on the nose if you want that kind of cute look all right and now it is time to re-intensify my freckles that is just something i always do at this point before i set it with setting spray so i'm going to use my brow pencil this is my benefit and just do one little guy here gorge all right let's apply some setting spray i have a ton that i like the classics charlotte tilbury urban decay mac cosmetics but also this one by Morphe, do not sleep on Morphe setting spray. It's so, so, so good. I just have the jumbo one, but I believe this is like the same one as the, their black packaging. So. so now I'm going to dry this and now I am going to apply a little bit more highlight because I want kind of like a little bit more glow on the higher points of my cheeks. So I'm going to go in with my Give Beauty highlighter. This is in the shade Home Girl Glow, one of the most beautiful highlights in my collection such a gorgeous gorgeous product and i just mix all of these little shades it can be quite blinding so i don't want to overdo it i'm just applying a tiny bit but i also like how you can kind of manipulate this product to be as glowy as you want it to be beautiful product do not sleep on this brand such a gorgeous gorgeous brand are we done with the base do we only have lips left i think so i'm just going to take you a little bit closer take a look at the base it's looking gorgeous i love just like using all of my favorite products on a day where i'm not testing out any of the new makeup products it just always looks so good all right let me finish my lip makeup and come back and show you the final result all right team i am back and for my lips i use the jones road beauty lip liner in the shade nudist i love this one merit beauty lipstick in the shade baby and also the beauty bible lip gloss in the shade amanda such a cute lip combo i'm really liking it especially like this duo that gloss looks amazing with anything but it's really cool that these two go together really nicely with kind of like a neutral mauve kind of pinky but also a brownie light type of look anyways so here is the final result the final makeup look take a look at my face without any filters or anything i love it it looks gorge i love that the face stays matte while we still have some glow peeking through i love the blush the bronzer how beautiful that is the bright under eye and of course how beautiful the foundation looks anyways i will mention that i do powder throughout the day no matter what i wear any foundation any magical product any magical hack or trend I will still have to powder in about three to five hours. That is just a non-negotiable because the oils are going to come through the center of my face, but it's also like not a big deal for me at all. What I do is I have these two objects in my purse at all times. I have the super mini Charlotte Tilbury powder and I have the super mini one size beauty powder puff <laughs> so this little duo is always going to be in my purse no matter where i go along with like a lip liner and a lipstick what do we think about my little sweat proof summer makeup routine what do you think about it obviously this is not an everyday summer makeup obviously there is so much products going on we are here to create a makeup look that is going to stay on for 12 plus hours so this is your event wedding whatever type of base routine whenever i i am in a rush i will not be sitting down here and applying layers and layers of makeup i will also just go with like a concealer and like a 
a little bit of bronzer and some powder like that's how i go as well i am not always this high maintenance but i do love me a good full coverage base makeup i'm touching my skin right now it literally feels like nothing is on the skin and it's super lightweight it's super comfortable it's super beautiful i really really love how it turned out i will also leave the links down below to everything i used as well as everything i used on my eyes and kind of whatever I did off camera, but let me know your thoughts. Let me know if this was helpful. And if you have any other questions about kind of like oily skin, tips, skincare, or anything at all, please leave them down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one.